this is the entire smart contract we had written for the travel industry so here we have all the state variable we have the events we have the constructor and these are the function we have included into this contract so the best part of this smart contract is that owner has the full control of this contract so we have this approve function which can call by owner this is the revoke function so owner can remove anybody from the contract by simply passing the address so only owner can call this function and the user can easily able to perform all of these tasks okay this is the purchase ticket function we have this is the cancel ticket function we have this is the ticket cost and the balance so this one is a pretty huge contract and i just want you to build an application around this okay that's going to be a good practice for you because the entire authority you have given to the owner and you have to think in such a way where you have to design the data modeling that whenever any ticket will get sale you can add a token system okay so that's what we are keeping here that purchase token ticket purchase ticket cancellation item okay so these are the information we are keeping okay so add a token system functionality that whenever the owner will add any address whenever the owner will approve any account he or she will get the token which they can utilize for buying the tickets or for buying the event so that's the one function i want to give you and that's a quite easy thing which you can do it very easily so that's the homework i want to give you if you truly want to understand that how the contract work and how you can reward user based on their certain actions okay so that's going to be a very good practice it's going to be little dedicated to the defi section because that's where we are moving so with that i'm ending this video if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment sections and do let me know what do you think about it with that have a wonderful day bye bye